What is up YouTube, XTG here, back with another banger. Today I'm finna show you guys how to get 100% God Mode in The Witcher 3 Complete Edition on the PS4 using the Save Wizard for PS4 Max. Now I haven't tested this method on the standard edition, I will leave an update on that in the pinned comment below. This god mode mod will give you 2 billion vitality, toxicity and stamina. Now there are some conditions to the god mode which I'll point out in the video during various tests. Anyway without further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright, so we will start with Geralt in White Orchard here. First thing you need to do is make sure you are level 100. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download and re-sign RB Region and follow along. Now, once you are level 100, you want to go to inventory. You're going to hold R2. You want to make sure your vitality is just as it is right here. It should be 5925, which is the base level. Next, you want to note your toxicity and your stamina. For me, toxicity is 100 and my stamina is 100. You want to write those down on a notepad. For your vitality, both figures must be the same. If the top figure is different, it means you need to heal. So go ahead, heal and make sure both figures are identical before you make your save. From here, go back to the game. Hit options and save game. Now right here you want to save your game and when you do that it will create a manual save. Now I personally recommend modding manual saves. You can also mod auto saves, whichever you prefer, but I always recommend manual saves for your mods. Now for the purposes of this tutorial I will not be saving because this is the save right here. I've already made it and you also want to make sure you note the timestamp on the save. As you can see right here my timestamp is 10 29 20, 20 at 10 11 and once again this exact save is listed in the description below so you can go ahead download it and re-sign or re-region that save. We're going to hit our PSN home button, go to settings, application save data management, save data in system storage and copy to USB storage device. I have two flash drives in my console. This is the one I'm using right here. All right, so as we noted from the timestamp, this is the exact save right here. So we're gonna go ahead and select it and hit copy. From here, let's take our notes and our flash drive over to our PC. On your PC, go ahead and start save wizard and plug in your flash drive. Select the game. Right here, you'll notice it says manual save zero. So this is the first manual save stored on the game. You wanna right click and select the advanced mode. All right, so in advanced mode, the first thing you wanna do is search for your health value. You're gonna hit the magnifying glass right here. You're gonna change this section to float and you're going to enter your health value. Now remember, it should be 59.25 for both the top and bottom. So we're just going to enter 59.25 and hit find. Now in this entire code, there should only be two values of this number. So you're going to hit find and find previous, find and find previous. If you go to find and find again, you'll see there's no more instances, so you know this is the value you need to change. So we're gonna go back to find previous. This is the first one. You wanna go ahead and replace this section with the code that pops up on screen right now. So we're gonna just click right here. And we're gonna go 28, 6, B, E, E, and 4, E. So hit find to jump right to the next value and just repeat that process. E. So what you've just done is given yourself 2 billion health, okay? So that's the health value right there. The next thing we want to mod is our toxicity. Let's pull up a screenshot of our stats. As you can see, the toxicity says 100. So what you want to do, you're going to put 100 in the search bar and hit find. Hit find once again. So you want to go ahead and you want to replace this section right here with 28.6BEE4E. Let's hit find once more and repeat the process. All 
right so once you've done that your toxicity should now be modded let's go back to our screenshot um, I will say if your levels here are different, you would search the number that's here. So for me, I'm searching 100 and 100, but for you, it might be different. So just keep that in mind and search for the number that you have right here. Stamina once again is 100. So I'm just going to hit find once again. I'm gonna note the digits right here. It says 00C842. I'm gonna hit find once more, 00C842. So I know this is my stamina right here. So I'm just gonna hit find previous and change the value. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna close this window out and hit apply. And yes to confirm. Back on the console, you should be on the screen right here. Hit circle to go back, go to save data on USB storage device and copy to system storage. Select your save file and hit copy. Then yes to overwrite. Now on the title screen, you want to select load game. Do not select continue unless you have modded your autosave and you know what you're doing. Once you load into the game, hit the touchpad, go to inventory, hit R2. And as you can see, our vitality, toxicity, and stamina are all maxed out to 2 billion. Alright, so right now we're going to run a few tests. So we're going to actually pop all of our decoctions right now, okay? Alright, so as you can see, we pop them all, just the decoctions and all our modded stats still remain the same. Okay, so the thing about the vitality mod though, taking anything that increases vitality will break the mod, okay? As you can see here, the Night Wraith decoction, Geralt's maximum vitality is increased with each foe killed. So even though we popped it and our vitality did not change, as soon as we kill an enemy, that will affect our vitality and it will break the mod. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that right now. We're in White Orchard and we have the perfect enemy, the super soldier. I don't know why this dude is able to one shot us. So let's go ahead and aggro this guy. Let's just pop back into our inventory. Our vitality is still stuck on 2 billion. I'm just going to let this guy hit us. All right, so you will lose health, as you can see right here. But we have two billion, so it's pretty much God mode. Let's see what happens now once we attack and take out one of these guards. Now that guard is down. And we literally died. All right, so we took that guard down. Watch what happens to our vitality. It went right back down to the normal amount. So anything that increases vitality after using the mod will break it, okay? Of course, all you need to do is hit options, load game, and just load that modded save. You'll be right back on top if you're god mode. All right, so we reloaded our save. To maintain your vitality mod, I'd recommend not taking anything to do with boosting vitality at all. As you can see right here, we can take food, we can eat meat, Yummy. as you can see to the bottom right, vitality hasn't changed. Uh, we can also pop something like a superior swallow. We will maintain the vitality mod. 
uh, but something like white wrappers decoction of course it restores vitality immediately and fully let's go ahead and pop it and as you can see to the bottom right it just changed so that will actually break the mod for our next demonstration let's hit our touchpad and we're going to go to character as you can see right here in our mutagen slots, we don't have any health mutagens equipped. Once again, if you do equip a health mutagen, it will break the mod. This mutagen will give you plus 150 vitality. Let's just go back and verify that we are modded. As you can see, our vitality is 2 billion. Now let's go to character, place that in the slot. And as you can see, it has broken the mod. Next, let's test how the mod stands up to fall damage. As you know, Geralt has chicken legs in this oh game. He definitely cannot survive this fall under normal circumstances. Let's just go into our inventory. We're all set with our vitality mod. Oh my god. All right, so apparently fall damage is insta-death. Let's see if Geralt can survive underwater. Uh, this is kind of crazy. Uh, I don't notice a breath bar, so I guess he is invincible underwater as well. Let's take a look at our inventory. All right, so it looks like Geralt is 100% invincible underwater. He's literally a fish now. Since the underwater tests came back positive, let's go try to take some damage from monsters. I actually haven't tested taking damage from monsters. We got some drowners here. All right, so our vitality is looking pretty good. I'm going to activate Igni here. We're gonna light up one of these explosive barrels and take some elemental damage. All right, so we're on fire. And as you saw right there, our health just trickled down. Even though our vitality is still looking pretty good, the fire damage took a huge amount off our health bar, so you can be hurt from elemental damage. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up today's video. Now, I was stuck in White Orchard while doing these tests, but feel free to experiment on what works and what doesn't work with the vitality mod. Uh, for the most part, stamina and toxicity should not break. I want to know who can come up with the most OP modded build using what I've shown you here today. Also, don't forget, I have some files available for you to download over on XDG mods.com you can get the vanilla level 100 save for free also if you don't want to be bothered doing the mod yourself there's an option available for you as well it's been your boy xdg thank you so much for watching don't forget to drop a like on the video if it's helped subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in another one <laughs> peace out